Yes, sir. We officially back at it. This is Book Nice 10, about to bring you a custom figure review of Stevie D Customs Black Panther. Let's do it. Man, I used to play the trap spot, propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop. Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops. The right lighting, you never catch me biting. Say you make it look so real when well, you pose the biggest fighting. I caught lightning, stuck it in the detail. Replicate epic scenes from the Creed War. Compose pieces with artists that span the globe. Fierce some foes, fighting in the picture, perfect pose. Insert the comic book, cut out, and the shooter show. Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me. I made nerds. Cool, cooler, like my man Zoe. Took the everyday display, gave it a spark. Welcome to articulated comic book art. Book, book, so shout out to my man Stevie D Customs for hooking me up with a really, really nice piece here. Um, this is basically a, a hybrid. It's a, it's a mashup of three different figures. It's uh, the body of the Toy Biz uh, Face Off series Punisher. Either one, it doesn't matter. You know, there were two versions of this guy, but just the head sculpt was different. But that body was used and the extras were removed, the belt, the gun holster, the knife. And then from just below the elbow on both arms or the glove, was actually removed from the body and from just above the shin on both legs or the boots were removed from the body and uh, then he took those same portions from the Sentinel series Black Panther removed it from that so just below the elbow on both arms and just above the shin on both legs removed that from him and added it to the face-off series body and then he also used the uh, Ronin head from the Ronin and Electra 2 pack and added that to the body and then basically just did a little bit of sculpting to give him the ears and that's how this guy was was made and I think it came out really really nice uh, let's get a closer right, look so at here we are taking a closer look at this guy I'm gonna go over all the points of articulation now he pretty much retains the the same articulation from both of his counterparts meaning that the uh, Sentinel series Black Panther every part that that particular figure was articulated at this figure is articulated at the same parts same thing with the face off series Punisher every part that he was articulated at same articulation here but it's just a hybrid of those two figures with the Ronin head to form what what I think is a much better uh, Black Panther in my in my personal opinion so uh, again I'm really really pleased with the way this came out now um, even with that said, I'm going to still go over all the articulation now. The head gets a really, really nice range of motion. Goes really far down, really far back, left to right. Could do a 360. And that's because it's on this uh, peg like this. And there's actually a magnet there. You can actually hear it. Now, the head is removable, obviously, because you can interchange the uh, the head here. And you could go with the, the maskless version. For the maskless version, he used the DCUC uh, John Stewart head, which I think's work. What I, I think it works really well, although I do feel like it's a little bit large for this body. But again, still it still works really really well. I'm still pleased with the way it came out. It was a really nice touch to add the uh, the little mask around the neck, like we had on the uh, on the Astonishing X Men Wolverine and the face off cap. That was a really really nice touch, and I'm really pleased with the way that came out. Uh, again, so you get a very nice range of motion in the head. Um, you get a uh, ball jointed uh, shoulders, you get the upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. Now this part right here at the wrist is what was uh, added from the uh, Sentinel series Black Panther. Uh, so that retains the same articulation that it had on that figure. Swivel here, uh, the hinge at the wrist, all of the fingers are articulated uh, except for the thumb, but I guess the thumb is not even really a finger. Uh, same thing on both sides. I didn't particularly care for those little gold parts in the uh, Sentinel series. So obviously that was painted over. The whole thing is, is black. Um, then you get the uh, ab crunch. You get a swivel at the waist. You get um, the ball joint at the, uh, at the pelvis or at the hip there. And you get a swivel at the upper thigh, double jointed knees. This was the other part that was added on from the Sentinel series. Um, uh, figure so it still retains the same articulation swivel here at the at the shin uh, You get ankle articulation plus you get an ankle pivot plus the toe articulation So again all the same articulation from both of his counterparts uh, Not to mention that the uh, face-off body had the the peg hole good old toy biz day So you still got the peg hole you can get them up on a traditional Toy biz flight stand or put them up on one of the juniors flight stands or what have you another thing that was really really cool, too Again, I didn't like the gold parts on the original, so that was all removed. It's completely smooth black. It's not that sort of rough texture like we had on the original uh, Black Panther. Everything is smooth. The paint job is totally even. It came out really, really nice. Not to mention that on the uh, 
face-off series, there was a lot of paint rub on a lot of those, and he eliminated that. I guess he sanded it down real good, and everything is smooth. It came out really, really nice. Really happy with the way this custom came out. Uh, and again, it gives you a, a modern looking Black Panther, or even the old school version too. And you know what's good too, I don't have the, the cape on hand, but you could actually add the cape from the uh, Sentinel series version and put it on them and it works really well too. I've done that before. Um, but again, really, really pleased with the way this guy came out. Let's get him in some shots. to my man stevie d customs for a really really nice custom piece here this uh definitely gets the official acba seal of approval all right y'all peace that's crispy